Hello, creative freelancers and solopreneurs. Welcome to today's conversation on coaching for creatives. We're going to talk about goal setting. Yes, goal setting. I know for a lot of you, goal setting is a part of your regular practice and your regular habits. But for some of you, setting goals is like pulling teeth or some other kind of horrible torture. Today, we're going to talk about why set goals in the first place and how setting goals on a 90 day or quarterly basis can be super effective at helping you get the results that you want in your creative business. My name is Aura McKay. I am the founder of Business of Creativity, and I am your host for this week's episode of Coaching for Creatives. Welcome. So I'd like to check in with you. Do you currently set goals for your business? And if so, how frequently do you review them, revise them, and recommit? Are you currently doing goal setting? Do you call it goal setting? Some people in my community, the actual word goal is challenging for them because they have so many um, past experiences or so many beliefs about setting goals and they have never achieved them. And it just feels like when they set the goals, they're setting themselves up for failure rather than creating a tool, a powerful tool that can contribute to their success. So let's talk about goals and why we should set them. And maybe I can help you transform your mindset or way of thinking about goals in the first place. Goal setting for me has always been a little bit challenging, but also super powerful. One of the really great things about setting goals is that it causes us to focus on what really matters. For many of us as creatives, we are multi-passionate. We have lots of ideas going on. We have lots of things we're working on. And as solopreneurs, we're wearing all the hats. We're doing all the things. What setting a goal helps us do is to look at all of those and to decide what actually matters the most. What actually should I, can I focus on in order to move my business forward? What does focusing my time, my energy, and my money in this area actually look like? It's not just focusing that we do when we set a goal, but we also get really clear on what does success look like for us. Having a goal helps you to focus all of the distractions, all of the to-dos, all of the stuff and to create very clear targets to aim for, very clear ways of identifying when you've been successful, very clear metrics for you to be able to measure the success of your business. So those are two main reasons that goals are awesome because when we have them, we can prioritize our day-to-day -day actions more easily. We can eliminate some of the overwhelm and the burnout because we are know what we're focused on and we know what matters and what's going to make a big difference for us in our business. And it helps us to look up from the daily grind. A lot of times when we don't have a goal in our creative business, and I've seen this for so many of my clients, and it's one of the reasons why the workshop that I offer is so powerful, is that we can often forget about the progress that we're making. It's the, the voice in our head, that little voice in our head, we all have it, you know, the one that just said, no, I don't have a voice yet, that voice. The voice in our head is generally focused on what we're not currently successful at, what is not currently working in our business, what is still left to get done and to do. And when we operate from the day-to-day the -day operations, the sort of nose down, getting into it, doing the work, Sometimes we can lose sight of the progress that we're making and the successes that we are achieving and the things that we are accomplishing. So being able to refocus and look at all of the stuff that we're doing all of the time and choose, powerfully choose with intention where you're going to focus your time, energy, and money and what success actually looks like, that can provide you a really great experience of who you are in the world. Because part of the process is reflecting on what have you already been successful at doing. And that process of looking at 
what have you already been successful at doing? It helps you get present to how amazing and extraordinary you are. It's my whole evidence of awesome theme coming up for you again. But I offer that because without those goals, we can get swept up in the daily grind, in the day-to-day -day doing the work part and lose track of the journey and how far we've gone. So another great reason for goal setting. Let's look for a minute as a goal. A lot of people consider goals as something that you have to achieve, that you've got to get it 100% or it's not going to work at all. When I approach goal setting, I set up, this is what a 10 out of 10 looks like. This is what 100% achievement would look like. This would be the ultimate, the ideal, the aspirational, the oh, angels singing outcome. And I'm mindful that life happens and that there's no possible way that I can give 100% to more than one area of my life. I guarantee as a freelancer, you're going to have more than one area of focus. You're probably going to have three to five areas of focus for any 90 day or quarterly period. So when we're looking at that, that idea of goals, you don't always have to achieve them 100%. A goal is meant to be aspirational. It's meant to be bigger than you actually feel capable of. A really powerful goal can scare you a little bit. There's still the place that you need to believe that it's somehow possible, even if you don't know how it's possible. But that little bit of, oh, that would be 100%. That would be a stretch. And then get really clear at what would an 8 out of 10 look like? What would 80% of success success on that goal look like. And that's your target. That's like where you're aiming for. You want to get there. That's really, if you achieve that, you are still a win. It still counts. Then below that would be the bare minimum. What is the minimum level of success that you can get in this focus area that would really support you, that would still be considered moving you forward, that would still resonate with you of, yes, I made progress. Sometimes people just stop at that big aspirational, oh my God, too far away goal. And then they feel bad about themselves when they reach 80% of it, instead of really celebrating the progress that they've made. I set goals that actually pull me through some of the lack of motivation, some of the, you know, when you just don't feel like it, you can reconnect to those goals. And if you set them up powerfully with the things that really matter and understanding why those goals are important to you, having them can help you to reconnect and get more motivated and pull you through some of those times when maybe you have decision fatigue or COVID fatigue, or you just don't really feel like it. Having those goals available to you can pull you through. So that's my rant on goals are fabulous. You should definitely set them. And I don't shoot on people very often, but I really feel strongly about goals. If you need a new word for them, you might try targets or milestones or aspirations or something like that. But do yourself the favor and find a way to come to terms with creating some area of focus with a clear measure of success in your life. I personally recommend that you do this every quarter, every 90 days. So why every 90 days? Why not once a year? Why not every five years? Why not every week? Well, I think that 90 days is the perfect amount of time to create enough consistency, enough time could pass that you can create some meaningful results, that you're going to get meaningful data, that you're going to start to see patterns, that you're going to start to see what actually works and what doesn't work. 90 days of sustained focus on any one area is pretty much the maximum human capacity for most of us. It's hard to be laser focused on something for a very long time. The shorter duration of time that you have to sustain your focus and your energy on something, the more likely that you are going to sustain that focus and energy on that thing. I like to set every 90 days because I feel that gives me enough time to have made some progress and collect really good information and data since the patterns 
And it's not so much time that I lose focus and lose the power of having those compelling goals. The other thing about having a 90 day schedule is that it pretty much lines up with the year and run, most of us run businesses on either a fiscal year or the annual year. So that just means every quarter we have a chance to review what's working, to revise our goals and to recommit to what actually matters in our lives. And I find that 90 days, things change, priorities change, opportunities come up, challenges we didn't anticipate come up. Having a fixed goal for a really long time, especially if it's a specific goal, can actually throw us off because we won't be able to respond to what's happening in the economy. And gang, right now we are in a volatile economy. As creative service-based freelancers, we're always operating in that gig economy. There are highs and lows and ups and downs. If we wait too long to do the review of our actions, the review of our metrics, we might be missing out on opportunities to double down on something that's really rocking and really working or to redirect our time, energy, and money onto something that might be more effective since things have changed. Those are my reasons for setting goals. Those are my reasons for looking at them every 90 days in terms of goals. And of course, there is another step of taking those 90 day goals and breaking them down into monthly and weekly action steps. If you want to have my support and guidance on creating goals for yourself and setting up those 90 day quarterly measurable outcomes, focusing your time and attention and developing the 30 day step-by-step -step action plan, please come and register for the upcoming workshop. It's called Focus Clarity Action. Finish strong in 2021. The link is in the description. I'll post it again in the comments for you. But this workshop, gang, this is where I walk you through the entire process of exactly how to set up yourself and your business for success. I help you create those 90-day goals. I transform and connect you into someone who has success and possibility built into your way of being. I see, I help you see yourself as what you could be come and the possibilities in your life and in your business. And I help you create those measurable outcomes so that you absolutely know the progress you're making and whether or not you are being successful at achieving the results in your creative business. The registration is open. It comes on Saturday, the 25th. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, this is a workshop that I do. You guessed it every 90 days or so. I will have some more upcoming workshop events at the end of this year and in the very beginning of the year. And please check them out. And whatever system or structure or tool that you use, do the work of at least reviewing all of the things that you're currently working on and choosing only two or three to focus your time and energy. You'll be giving yourself a lot more freedom and a lot less stress. Hope this has been helpful for you. I'd love to hear from you. Did this change the way that you think about goals? Did, you, did this add anything to your feeling or experience of goals at all? Your comments are always appreciated. Thanks again for joining me live. I'm Aura McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity, and we will see you here next week.